Hi, I'm Darren Jr. And I'm the owner and general manager here at Milan Sons Gym in Johannesburg. Darren was like, well, he was like a surprise. He's a good kid. Peacemaker, not a fighter. My brother isn't exactly the coolest on earth. If you could be any piece of job equipment, which one would you be and why? I know I don't look like your, like your regular gym owner, but that's kind of our USP. Where most gyms are these impersonal sausage factories, I like to make things a little bit more friendlier, more personalized. I'm not here to fuck around. My dream is to make Stars the leading fitness brand in the country. I'm going to destroy you. And you shitty little I've had my eye on that property since we started building ours. I want you to sign up for membership at Milan Science. Infiltrate the system, Trojan style. And when I give the signal... I want to send that woman a message. Let her know we're not going down without a fight. You are speaking to the manager. When Jesus says men should not live on bread alone, I truly believe he was embracing a low-carb diet. I know Michelle Obama says that when they go low, you go high, but I'm of the opinion that when somebody steps on you and you're down, it's a perfect opportunity to trip them up. Calm down, faith like potatoes, it's never gonna happen. Sometimes David ends up being Goliath's bitch for 20 years before he gets another chance to throw a stone at him. Don't miss your moment to fight for what you love. How you gonna turn this all around? We're basically the nice guys of the gym industry, you know? Kill them with kindness kind of vibes. <laughs>of season is going to be hot, hot, hot when it comes to all things streaming thanks to EVOD, Darren's Gym, as you've just seen, stars two of the ladies uh, that I have in studio with me right now, Natasha Sutherland Hi. and Ayanda Sioka. Welcome to TMS. Thank you, Thank you for having us. That looks hilarious. <laughs> just the trailer itself looks very, very funny. It was so it good to hear you laughing while you were watching. <laughs> yeah. And it was a real laugh. The words you used um, were irreverent mm. and, and just something a little bit different. Tell us about what attracted you, Ayanda, to the script. Um, I think I usually play like quite intense um, characters and this one was very light. I mean, of course, I think out of all the characters, Maybe not completely out of all of them, but I, I didn't have many funny moments. My okay. character, my character, dri drove kind of drove the drama. If that's the right word, drove the drama, drove the drama, drove the drama. <laughs> drove the drama. If we <laughs> want to create drive to be a word today, that Thank can you. be yeah. all right. So <laughs> Thank you. drive safely as you drive the drama. <laughs> It's, it's that kind of time. We I all know. need it. I know. I do it all the time. But your intensity, I, I suspect, could lend itself to good mockumentary style comedy because yes. that earnestness is so necessary in a mockumentary we've seen them on various shows that have been on etv over the years mm. and, and so it really does work natasha your character mm. um starla starla yeah i play darren's mom and she is a little larger than life mm. but um i was just so excited because i love the mockumentary genre right um you know i love obviously experimenting in all genres and my sons got me into watching mockumentary. I started writing mockumentary. So when Brett came along with us, oh, I was super brilliant. excited. And you know, even within the mockumentary genre, they're like sort of subgenres. Yes. Like if you look at like The Office and Ted Lasso and um, Charlie's Wedding Diaries and all of that, it's slightly adjusted. But, yes. Um, generally, that idea of breaking fourth wall and looking into camera and everything was a lovely thing to incorporate. And just as you were saying, and you were saying as well, there's a certain sense of of earnestness and authenticity that I think is so required. Yes. And I think so many people think that comedy is easy to play and, and, and the kind of comedy that I know uh, Darren's gym has, I believe, and because Brett is such an amazing captain and director yes. and writer. Brett uh, is your uh, director. Yeah, director yes. and writer. And he wrote it. And he wrote it. You know, it was really rooted in authenticity and pathos. So as much as there was this, um, you know, wonderful sort of band of people in the gym mm. that were all sort of probably mismatchy and ill-fitting. We were a family mm. and we did find, a, a, yeah. So much love. I think. Incredible. The, the movie has an unbelievable, in spite of the irreverence, it's sure. an unbelievable wholesomeness almost. Yeah. Yeah. And heart. 
Mm. And all the characters are real, I think, is this what we were trying to say mm. also, is that like, it's not like slapstick, it's not like stock characters, it's actual real people, yeah. you know, with a real story. That's and not brilliant. trying to play the funny, but trying to like, play the story. And yes. if the funny happens within that, then that's fine. Yes, mm. you know? I absolutely love that. So we saw in the trailer just names upon names upon names. I don't know where he got the budget, how he was able <laughs> to do it, but I mean, these are really incredible actors of our time. What was the environment on set like, Ayanda? Sure, love. Okay. Yeah, and I think some of us, a lot of us didn't know each other, right. but we somehow, Brett, just chose the right kind of people and the right kind of energy, we laughed. We laughed and laughed and laughed and also just took care of each other, you yes. know? And I think when it came to um, even on set when action happened, we were like, okay, these are the relationships. This is how we take care of each other. When this character is going through this, how do I react? So it's not just about me when I'm speaking or whatever, but like I'm listening, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to respond to, to the person whose moment it is, so that they also have something to work with. Yes. You know, and the camera has something to work oh, with. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so everyone's really hands-on and involved, is, is what it sounded like. Yeah, and I yeah. think the spirit, I don't know, the spirit of, of the company and how we worked um, sort of mirrored the spirit of the piece. Yeah. And I, 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 once again, I do think that is credit to, to Brett and his team. Yeah. Somehow yeah. it managed to be like that, and we yeah. all picked up on it. Mm. And I think also in the, considering we were filming in, in the middle of an early pandemic yeah. and everyone, so it, it was in the midst of a lot of fear. It was a really beautiful a sort of haven almost to go to work and yeah. allow ourselves oh, wow. to, to, have, to have fun, but also be very responsible for mm. the piece. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was very, very special. I always will see this as a lovely, lovely gift. I can't, um, I don't yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I mean, the love even extended as far as the crew as well. You yeah. know, it wasn't just us as in the, the oh, actors. Yeah. It was like every morning I was excited to see everybody. There's yeah, nobody that I dinner, didn't like. That's so great, <laughs> you guys. Yeah, truly, yeah. truly, it really was very... Because we hear strange stories. Yeah. And, and not that, you know, that is kind of the norm, but it's really wonderful to call it out when mm. it is extraordinary mm. and when it is such a wonderful experience. Yeah. Listen, we're going to take your voice notes if you'd like to ask the ladies anything about Darren's gym, if maybe you've streamed it already and you'd like to... Uh, uh, give us your commentary or what was an LOL moment for you. Let us know the numbers on your screen right now. So Natasha, we see you in a variety of roles throughout your career. We have seen you, but um, you're kind of more serious in Scandal. Was mm. this a, a departure? What makes playing comedy different to, to playing a straight dramatic role? I think, and I probably might be booed or by a lot of people, comedy is actually a lot more difficult. Mm, it, it's actually quite, uh, it's a blend of, of, uh, uh, of a technical aspect and um, a sort of challenge. I found it quite interesting, especially with mockumentary that I yes. really tried to, as I said, restrain the idea. It's so easy to want to, to, to push the comedy. Right. Mm. And trust that the comedy in film, because obviously I've done comedy in theater before, the comedy in film is so beautiful, especially with the mockumentary, in that the comedy actually comes from the edit. It comes from the director's vision. Mm. Um, you literally are trying to deliver the line in, in as neutral way as possible. So the edit afterwards is where the where the laugh comes in. Mm. So, does so I that, learned a lot. Does that mean it, it helps if you understand what that post-production process is about? I think it understands if you read the script, we have a round table read through, and Brett is, com is so Got open you. in terms of before it even be cast, I was talking to him, we were discussing documentary, mockumentary styles and those sorts of things. Mm. Um, and I have my own idea of what sort of comedy I like as yes. well. So uh, luckily, luckily it was something that he also um, liked working with. Yeah. But uh, I mean, I love my dramatic roles. It's been great. It's been great to, you know, market theatre with Pamela Nambete and sure. you know, working with Mercedes Job and sure. um, all sorts of things. But it's, I love comedy. Yeah. And I know that uh, Paul Ariel, who is producer, he came across, he said, you were one of the surprises because I didn't think that you could do comedy. And I'm like, Whoa. I'm going to show you Valentine next year. You know, that's comedy. Yes. I, I love comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Um, and it kind of ties both of your stories together because you were saying a similar thing, Ayanda, about mm. the more serious and dramatic roles that you've played in times gone by. It's set in the gym, ladies. Yeah. 
we were talking off the air about working out uh, working out waking up and so out. yeah we're making up new new words here yeah. working up uh, early in the morning you've got uh, a background in kundalini yoga tell yes. us about that how's that i do um I, I fell in love with it. Like I, I, when I found yoga, I was searching for something. I okay. didn't know what I was looking for. And I went to classes, all different kinds of types of yoga. Yeah. And then I went to my first Kundalini class at my um, teacher Itza Rousseau's house. And she, I, I, something happened. And I was like, I'm coming back. And then I trained to be a trainer. And now I'm sitting on a team that trains trainers to be kundalini wow. yoga teachers in south africa yeah and what is it about it that, that, that drew you to that specific style of yoga i think it was more i mean i don't want to i don't i don't want to say it's better than other okay. types of yogas but for me it was because it just moved something within me you yeah. know of course the the yoga is about soul mind body and all of that and i felt like it was the perfect match for me and yes. what i needed at the time yes um yeah and then, Natasha, weren't your parents dance teachers or choreographers, or where's the gymming and dancing connection there with you? <laughs> my, my dad was um, a choreographer and a, a, a lecturer <laughs> at uh, the Laban Centre in London. That's where my mom, it's a very sweet little love story, my mom got a bursary to go and study movement there, and that's right. how they met. And you know. So I come from a sort of movement theatre background. Yes. Um, and I, you know, did ballet and all of that sort of stuff. But I must mm. admit, we have a... A little a bit yoga of connect. connection, yeah. Mm. She she did once. I mean, she became. I wanted to try and train to be the teacher, but things didn't work. Out. Right. But mm. um, I just said to her, "Now, are we waiting?" I said, "Please, you have to help me get back in the zone. I'm missing it so much. Yeah. Mm. I'm missing the yoga very, very yeah. much. I find it very important. Little things like before we perform, um, doing some exercises really helps get an act in the zone. And Absolutely. Then yes. Afterwards, you want yes, and them? also after to kind of de de roll. Yes. Because obviously yoga works with like the neutralizing of yourself, gotcha. you know. So to neutralize yourself in order to pick up the character and then also to neutralize yourself in order to get back to yourself. Wow. That's what I've been using yeah, since I started mm. doing the yoga, but which how, is great. How clever is Brett? He casts this brilliant, beautiful actress and she just happens to do yoga, which is what the character is required of. I Why think he, he knew. <laughs> he, just, I think he, did it on he wrote it for you. Yeah. You know what it sounds like? You know, on your, on, your, like on your resume, <laughs> Sorry, you know, yeah. can you ride a horse? Can you pole yeah. vault? All of the things she said were true. Yeah. The rest yeah. of us just put things <laughs> in there to get said, the wrong. Yeah, I can, I can do flamenco. <laughs> exactly. Sure. This is Natasha Ayana. Stick around. We're going to take a short break. It's TMS on E. We'll be right back. <laughs>